we start the program, she'd like to take over coming here. Um, for those who are going to use their social media platforms, our hashtag is DLSC Markers 75. Hashtag DLSC Markers 75. <laughs> The Dela Salle University and the National Historical Commission of the Philippines welcome you to the unveiling of the historical marker Memorare for the Dela Salle College massacre, massacre that happened 75 years ago, 12 February 1945. Let us please rise for the national anthem. their lives 
to take refuge in our hallowed halls here actually reminds us of an important event in the past that will allow us to propel our mission in the future. 75 years is indeed not long enough to forget. I, I gather here that not uh, only a few, if ever, were born 75 years ago when this particular event did happen. But all of us will just have memories, stories of these things happening that will remind us that indeed it is true and it is a fact that 68 died on that particular day, 75 years ago, here in this particular day. This marker that we will unveil today perhaps can be symbolized as, it can be uh, a reminder for us this way. One, it's as actually a statement that the Dasalian virtues that we stand by still exist until today. That it will continue on to be upheld by succeeding generations. Two, that it is a reminder that our Lasallian mission to teach the minds, touch the hearts, and transform the lives of our next generation is still worth fighting for. And perhaps it's also a symbol of the Lasallian legacy which started in the Philippines 109 years ago. Faith, service, and community today is what this marker represents. I learned in one Archbishop Romero remarked in 2015. He said, we must be willing to die for our faith, even if the Lord does not grant us this honor though. Giving life, martyrdom, does not only mean being assassinated. Giving life, in today's term, having the spirit of martyrdom, means offering it in silence, in prayer, in the honest fulfillment of one's duty and I, I may add the Messiah mission that we carry in our hearts. In this silence of everyday life, giving life a little at a time. Welcome to the unveiling of the marker. But as every Messiah passes through the marker, I hope and pray that we will be reminded of the mission of our founder, the Messiah, and make it still alive today, and make it still part of our everyday life. Welcome to the Rasal and Animals. Thank you very much, Dr. Bui. We will now proceed to the unveiling of the historical marker. We would like to request Dr. René R. Escalante, Chairman of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, Brother Raimundo B. Suplido, FSC President, De La Salle University, and Brother Bernard R. S. Oka, FSC Chancellor, De La Salle University. Please proceed to the marker. And uh, would like to also request OIC, uh, it's the Deputy Executive Director Alvin Elsin to join us. sa panahon ng labanan ng Maynila. Mga has na pinasila sa kapon ng labing limang Christian Brothers at ilan pang mga sibilya sa ng Pebrero 1945. Now na rito, dinakip at hindi na nakita muli si the brother Egbert Xavier and FSC, director ng Colegio at Judge Jose Carlos. Nasa hip ng 12th Cavalry Regiment ng US Army ang mga taong nakaligtas ikalabing lima ng Pebrero 1945. Ang panandang ito ay niyaalay sa alaala ng mga namatay.
the digitization, automatical records of WJ, the Prosarium. It is now listed in the UNESCO uh, memories of the world. I, I deal with that data. Let me just put the celebration in proper context. The national commemoration of the liberation of the return of the Allied powers in the Pacific region started way back in October of last year, to be precise, October 20, 1945. It's the event that we commemorated last year in Palo Leyte. So this is the landing of MacArthur and also at the same time the return of the Commonwealth government in our country. And then it was followed by a series of commemorations in the Western Visayas area. And last month, we had another commemoration in the year. And just early this, this month, we, had, we started it in the city of Manila, with Mayor is co-sponsoring it. And just yesterday, we commemorated the liberation of the internment camp in UST, but we did not have it in UST because of the virus, so we had it in even with respect. The second context that I would like to discuss is if you're familiar with this building, we used to have a marker downstairs. Later on, it was found out that there is one item in the marker that is not historically accurate because it was stated there that Father Cosgrave died in the massacre. It's not true because in fact he, he, he survived the, the war and even testified during the war trial. So I would like also to note that that marker did not come from the National Historical Institute, the predecessor of any city, but it was given by the Manila Historical Commission. This is a this is a, no, it's just a committee. This is a committee attached to the city government of Manila. So we call the attention of I think during the time of Brother Nipa. Then later on, because of this commemoration, we requested Terrasal to remove the marker. Anyway, we will be replacing it with a new one and it will be a more detailed uh, marker. And this is coming now from not from a local government unit committee, but from the national government itself. So this will now be the second marker that I will be updating in Terrasal University. The first one, that is the marker uh, given to Terrasal when the university celebrated the centennial. At the time, it was Maris Dokro who, who, who graced it, and now we have for the De La Salle brothers. Now, the second thing that I would like to mention is, two years ago, the medical records of Napoleon Le Prosario was inscripted in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. I cannot forget this event, because I was part of that team, but originally, it was just a junket for me. The original delegation was headed by Lina Shahani, the head of UNACO, and then by another representative from the DFA, and by the director of the Collion General Hospital, and I think the director of the National Archives was also part of the original delegation. When they were preparing, they noticed that somebody should to join them who is familiar with the history of the period. It just so happened that just two years before that event, I participated in a group project sponsored by the Sakawa Foundation to write on the history of the leprosy in our country. And the American period, the chapter of the American period was written by myself. So I, I joined the team just in case there will be questions about the documents. What happened is three days before we were supposed to leave. Dila Siahani made a freak accident na pilay po yung kanya. Kaliwa bukububo, uh, so hindi na po siya nakajoin. Later on, the day before we were supposed to leave, the archives got burned. If you remember, nasunog po yung archives dito sa Juan Luna. So the, the director of the National Archives had to refer it to other delegates. At ito naman general, director general ng Pulyon de Rosario, namatay yung kanyang piyena on the very eve that was supposed to leave. So I ended up defending it very much unprepared. But in any case, 
out of the 31 uh, proposals, eight were inscripted in the World Heritage Site the Memories of the World, and the Pulyon Medical Records was one of them. And one of the recommendations of the committee is to have these documents digitized so that those people who cannot afford or don't have the time to visit Pulyo, they can still access this. So we requested the national government to appropriate another part of this, and then this is now what we are, this is now why we are partnering with the Assad. So this will be another, I would say, after the Batanes project of NHCP and Lasal, this would be another project that I think would be worth pursuing because this would be a big contribution, not only from the field of restoration, but also from the field of medical research. Particularly now that we're talking about segregation and all this goa on the, on the end of virus. Because probably one of the most systematic segregation that happened in the country happened during the American period when the colonial government collected all, at the peak of the segregation policy in America, there were close to 16,000 patients segregated in Polio. And not all of them are Filipinos, by the way, as far as Hawaii. So, talagang ginawang takuna ng mga Amerikan kung Polio na ito. And it became also the center of research and leprosy during the colonial years. So, I hope that those who will participate in this team will not just focus on the digitization of the materials, but also on the research aspect of it. In fact, some of those scholars who joined the, the, the UNESCO forum were thinking if they could get some inputs as to how to contain, uh, how to do research as far as the AIDS virus is concerned. At that time, it was also the peak of the Ebola epidemic in Africa. Kaya, of, of all the documents presented by UNESCO, ito po medical records ng Tunyon ang talaga pinag-usap-usapan. So, good luck po sa mga kasama sa team. We made the amount a little bit generous so that we have time to, you know, the place is so nice. Uh, believe me, brother, it's a good place to do our job. So if you have time, then please drop by. I have a prepared sleep, uh, speech. Papasahin ko kasi magpaka magkapo na naman yung gumawa nito. Itumpong taon na ang nakalipas na magtapos ang ikalawang lima ang pandaydi. Nagsimula ang mga akbang para sa liberasyon sa pumumagitan ng pagdaong sa loob ng Leyte noong Oktubre 1944. Nakarating ang persang Amerikano sa Maynila noong Pebrero simula ang may tuturing na pinakamalagin na kabanata sa kasaysayan ng Kamaynila. Marami ng kaganapan noon sa, sa labanan sa Maynila ngunit ang ating inumunita ngayon ay maaring ituring na isa sa pinakamarahas na pangyayari na naganap sa lukso. Na siya rin itinuturing ng pinakamadilim na kabanata sa kasaysayan ng Dela Sal University. Noong, noong ikalaking dalawa ng Pebrero 1945, pinaslang ang mga sundalong napon ang labing limang Lasal Brothers at ilang pang mga sibilyang nagkandong sa loob ng kuleryo. Now na rito, Kinuha ng mga hapon si na Brother Edward Xavier, Director ng Delasal College, at John Jose Carlos na hindi na nakita muli. Samantalang ang mga naiwang brothers at sibilyan ay binaril at binayoneta. Ang mismo mga sahig at pader ng kusali ito ay nagmistulang ipinabad sa dugo ng mga napaslang. Hindi may pipinta ng mga akyak, aklat ng kasaysayan kung anuman ang na nasa isip at naramdaman sa huling sandali ng kanilang mga buhay. Ang mga ina at ama na hindi na nakita ang kanilang mga anak, lumaki sila na palaon ay lumaki ng silay sorry, sa kanilang mga anak. Sinaksak sila ng bayoneta at ang mga bata ay magubuhay na walang magulang at dadalhin ang madilim na alaala na nasaksiyan nila ang marahas na pagpatay sa loob ng busanin ito. Ang mga bagong kasal naman ay namatay, yakap ang isa't isa. Ang ginabukasang inaasam nila ay hindi na magbubunga. Sina Father Francis Cosgrave at ang mga 
brothers at civilian na nakaligtas at nasa gate ng 12th Cavalry Regiment ng Pwersang Amerikano ang mismong nagsalaysay ng mga karanasan ito. Inaalala, inaalala ng pamantasan ito ang madilim na kabanata ng kanyang kasaysayan sa pamamagitan ng panandang pakasaysayan na pinagkalaw ng aming komisyon at bilang pag-alala sa mga naging biktima ng marahas na pangyayaran ito. Inaalala natin ng mga brothers, mga pamilya at mga empleyado na lumikas sa gusaling ito sa paniwala ng Lasal College na ay ligtas na kanduman. Ngunit dito ay nagsilbing kanilang uli ang tungan. Inaalala natin dito, hindi lamang ang biktima ng Lasal College, ngunit lahat ng biktima ng digmaan. Naway magsilbing paalaala ito sa ating lahat na sa panahon ng digmaan, walang panalo. Lahat ay talo, maging anuman ang panig na kanila ang pinagibilangan. Ngayon po ay masasaksiyan natin ang formal na paglipat ng panandang pagsaysayan sa Delasal University na buong tinatanggap at pinapangako aalagaan ang marker na ito. Sa puntong ito, inanyanyan po si Brother Ray, Brother Bernie, at Albi sa the formal signing of the formal document. Ngayon po ating sasaksiyan ang uh, signing ng Certificate of Transfer Historical Marker para sa De La Salle University, Brother Raymond Dupi Sublido, FSC, for the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, Dr. Rene Escalante. Sasaksiyan po ito ni Brother Bernard S. Oka, FSC Chancellor, De La Salle University, at para po ay si Deputy Executive Director, Ilong Alvin Alci.
Fischer. Fischer, Bob Fischer. Salamat po sa lahat po sa inyo lahat. Upang tanggapin ang packer Upang tanggapin ang packer magbibigay po ng mensahe sa atin si Brother President ng De La Salle University Brother Raimundo Ray B. Suplido FSC. Of faith 
believing that somehow what they were doing was along the meaning or the the plans of God for them and for others. And so I think we, uh, we very much appreciate what NHCB is doing to help us commemorate that. And I hope that as students and faculty and staff pass through these malls and enter and leave the chapel, they will remember or the, the, the legacy that they are continuing is founded on the lives, the blood, the values of those who have gone ahead of us. So we thank you for, for this and I hope that as we continue every year to commemorate the martyrs of the Lasalle College, but also the lives of the Lasallians that follow them, I think we will continue to enrich that legacy and see our own roles in continuing that legacy and making it even uh, more effective and more real to the generations that we come. So thank you for this recognition and for the affirmation. And we certainly uh, look forward to the continuing partnership with NACP, uh, Dr. Uh, Rene mentioned some of the projects that Venezuela University has completed and will pursue in the in the coming months. And we we know that we, we will be contributing in a small way to the continuing growth of of arts and culture and heritage in our country. So thank you everyone for joining us this morning and animal assassin. This is one of those, uh, uh, parang we've been developing it for the past month, the idea of um, uh, presenting the narrative of, uh, of uh, the events that transpired 75 years ago. 
but at the same time, uh, we didn't want to limit that uh, uh, representation in just that episode alone. So we will also be including, besides um, uh, a somehow uh, uh, representation of what happened during the occupation years, how the brothers also conducted their affairs, and how uh, they contributed to the community under uh, 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 the Japanese occupation during that period. And, uh, but also uh, quite uh, noticeable is the um, uh, images of uh, a larger than life, a larger scale uh, representation of uh, uh, the different brothers that were here during that period. Um, no exact likeness, it's, it's more of a very general representation, but you will see that there were actually 15 figures, major figures here that would somehow be the visual representation of the Martin Brothers. And so we will continue to develop this design uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, we have uh, had several consultations already and uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's going to be a work in progress until we will be finally um, happy with, with the details, the fine details that we will integrate and we'll place it here in this walls, on these walls for all to remember. And uh, um, uh, hopefully we'll add to the consciousness and realization of uh, uh, what really happened here. Parang and the concept na dito da we presented several design, but this is something like it's coming out from the walls now, as if the walls were telling a story. So wow. the, uh, the, the brothers that we consulted with this uh, design uh, uh, went with, with this option. So yes, thank you, and we'll keep you updated with this particular uh, development. Thank you. To bless our marker. We would like to call the University Chaplain, Father Dante Funeles. Let us begin the rite of blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, today we commemorate the heroism of the Dalasal brothers and the families to take refuge in this venerable place during the cruelty of the war in 1945. As we mark this monumental place with a symbol of their courage and bravery, let us ask God for His blessings that we may always remember their sacrifice and that we ourselves may commit to continue working for peace at all times. A reading from the letter Paul to the Romans. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being slain all the day. We are looked upon as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, to whose names we dedicate this historical marker, to the Lasallian martyrs who perish in this chapel, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a sacrifice, and ever rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
press spray. May God, the Father of goodness, who commanded, commanded us to help one another, us brothers and sisters, bless this place with His presence and look kindly on all who visit this place. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Over the solemn prayer, I will continue, O my God, and do all my actions for the love of you. St. John Baptist the Lasalle. Pray for us. Give Jesus in our hearts. Forever. Marami pong salamat. Please be seated. For the final part of our program, thank you, Father, for the signing of the digitization and digital asset management of the archival materials in the history of the letters in the Philippines. We'd like to call on for the De La Salle University, Brother Raymond Kisuki to FSC, and from the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, Dr. Rene R. Escalante. And is uh, the Dean of the Council of Liberal Arts, the Jazz Diana here. Uh, please join us. and digital asset management of archival materials in the history of Lepros in the Philippines, of the Pulion Sanitarium and General Hospital Records, was awarded to the De La Salle University Incorporated amounting to 6.5 million pesos. This was funded by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts from their National Endowment Funds for the Culture and the Arts. This project aims to preserve and make available to the public the rich archives of Pulion, especially with regards to its history as a leper colony, and to encourage the people of Pulion to share their unique history through and improve archives. First, I would like to also call the SCRC and representative for the photo picture taking in the SCRC. Thank you. everybody to the next uh, events of the uh, 75th anniversary uh, that would follow later. Thank you very much. Uh, God loves us all. Mabuhay at the University. Ani mo lasal.